Hey everyone. So a number of people have seen that I was tweeting about a new tool, right? The SC20 Leashy Pick. Very exciting times. I was thrilled about it. But there seems to be some confusion about this. Like it's sold a lot of places now, you know, it's on Covered Instruments, on our site, it's on a lot of places, right? But a number of people wrote to me or tweeted to me or kind of commented on Insta. They were like, hey, I have a question. What is, what's different about this? A good example would be a guy named Steven, right? Steven said, does the new SC20 pick work in SC1 and SC4 keyways? So right off the hop, and I'm not picking on anybody, right? There's a lot of confusion around these terms, SC1, SC4, SC20. Those are not necessarily keyways. Those are key blanks. It's time for us to straighten things out, which is why every day this week, we are gonna have what I'm calling Schlage Week. So I wanna untangle a lot of these terms and where better to start than with keys and keyways, because those designations and the differences between them are what make this particular tool very unique. So a number of you already understand, there are keys, right? And keys fit into locks. They go down the keyway. In pin tumbler world, this makes sense. The designations for these things, however, often do not make sense. You'll sometimes hear about people talk about the Yale lock, right? And you might have heard of a Y1 or a Y2 key, especially like Howard and I talking about elevators, right? The famous New York City key, well, it's cut on a, a Yale blank, and the 3502 key is a Y2. And you might say, well, yeah, I've seen a classic Yale keyway. I think Brett has like a tattoo of one, but that's not a Y1 or a Y2 keyway. That is the Yale number eight keyway, what we have in Schlegland, because this is Schlage week, it's not Yale week, we'll do that later. The Schlage Lock Company often sells, and you have found, keys that might have a C on them, right? Those keys and the locks into which they fit are the Schlage C keyway. That is by far the most prominent Schlage keyway. Like, it's almost, we're going to make a pickup truck analogy in a minute about how common these are. We're going to talk about the Ford F-150 of keyways, literally. Now, the Schlage C keyway can be available in five and six pin styles, both pinned in the lock and on the key. So SC1 and SC4, okay, those are designations of key blank. And it has to do with SC1 is five pin, SC4 is six pin. Yes, I know you think those numbers don't line up. Wait till I tell you about Quickset, some other future video, the naming and numbers are hilarious on those. But right now, just remember there's Schlage C, and that's what the, the C in SC does not stand for C keyway, it just stands for Schlage. This is not Schlage's internal designation, by the way. So you have the 35101 like series, you have 35101C, 35101E and F. What are these other letters? We're getting to that. Just understand that the most popular Schlage locks are the C keyway. And that is why pick tools that came out were manufactured in SC1 and SC4. And you don't really need the SC1 because you know we have the little spacer collar that we've made. But the SC1 and SC4 picks will fit into a Schlage C lock. So then what is the SC20? People said, is this for a different kind of Schlage? I've never seen an SC20 lock. Does it fit in this lock? Well, yeah, it'll fit just fine in this lock. It'll work in this lock. The thing is, this is designed to work in more Schlage locks. So what do we got here? That's a lot of keys that I just reach into a bin and sprinkle them all over the table to look kind of cool, like set dressing. I mean, yeah, I kind of did that. But these are all different keys. And those of you with sharp eyes and my nice new camera, they're like, no, Dave, the, the camera's showing me. These are all the exact same key. I mean, they look, they're all the same key. They're all cut to the same bidding. How could they be different keys? They're different keys because, well, this one says C, this one says G, this one says F, this one says E. What's going on with that? Let me introduce you to the obverse key chart for the Schlage series. In addition to the absolute super famous Schlage C keyway, Schlage also makes the E keyway. It's kind of similar, but it's not the same. Schlage makes the F keyway. It's pretty rare. Schlage makes the G keyway. Super rare. I've actually never seen one in the field on an install. These are really a lot like, I told you I was gonna make a pickup truck analogy, right? They are like the Ford F-Series of pickups. They're all based on the same idea, the same sort of frame layout and design. However, everyone and their dog 
has seen and probably ridden in or possibly owns an F-150. That's your Schlage C. It has got the huge share of the market, 90% or more, I would venture to say. The E, well, it's your F-250. Then you've got the F-350. You've got the F, you know, custom conversion. You've got the F King Ranch. You've got these obscure in the market, right? Small market share, but for specialized purpose, institutional purpose many times, someone's buying them. That's what's going on with the other keyways in the Schlage Classic series. They're not restricted keyways. They're obverse keyways, they're on the market, you can buy them, but almost no one does because almost no one needs these other keyways. And here they are. Huge thanks to my buddy Syntax Error for running a 3D print for me. And huge thanks to my suppliers, obviously. I think Intermountain Lock is where I finally was able to source all these crazy keyways. And you're noticing there are more than four keyways on this block right now, right? So what's going on with that? In addition to the main keyways in Schlegland, there's also these intermediate names, right? So you have CE, there's EF, there's FG. Now, I used to think that these were what are known as multiplex keyways, that, that you could, oh, well, a CE means you can insert the C or the E blank. No, look really closely at the chart. I'm gonna put the chart on the screen. Look, look at that. They are not the exact same keyway. These are all unique keyways. The CE key will not fit in a C or an E lock. And separately, the C key and the E key will not fit in a CE. I used to have this wrong because again, they're really obscure. I would never run across these. Why do they exist with so weird names, by the way? It's a lot like, I think, and I've talked to my friends at Schlage about this, and they, they, this is my best theory we've got. When they developed these additional keyways, they just kept using letters, right? But then within the Schlage family, they said, oh, we need more space. It's almost like in a big city where you have a block of properties and the numbers have already been given out on that street, but they subdivide one of the townhouses and this row home is now two units. So you get like 122 and a half, you know, F street. That's, they just kind of had to cram additional letters in. Uh, if someone, by the way, from Allegiant or Schlag, uh, people I haven't reached out to yet, I've got a number of friends there. If anyone else who has not heard back from me or heard, you know, heard me reach out to you, if you know I'm wrong, uh, tell me down below why they use the letters that way. But that's the best theory we've got so far from some of my friends over there. So why would you have this? Why does this exist, right? This is called section keying. In a really large institution, you might have a key system like we just saw where some keys are cut the same, but you need to be able to manage different users and have uniqueness across different doors in the system. So by using different sectional keyways, you can literally have different key blanks that don't fit. Key blanks from this building just don't fit in the doors on that side of campus. So people can have a much larger key space. Well, you might say, well, that's fine. Why wouldn't you just have completely unrelated keys that are nothing like one another? Why this similarity? Well, let's look at our section key chart. It's because you can have hierarchies. If you have a manager who maybe has, a, has oversight of a number of these buildings, they might have, let's say, the H blank. Well, the manager who has the H blank can walk up to that side of campus and they can use their H key and it will fit in the C keyway and that'll operate. You can walk up to the CE keyway and that'll operate. You can go to the E building, right? E is always a very tight keyway in my opinion, but that'll operate. But that manager doesn't have rights everywhere. Once we get beyond what H can do, well, we can't get into EF. Just, nope, can't do it. You're gonna have to have the next key in the series and the next key in the series, right? So there's J and K, there you go. So, does some of you see where this is going, right? You understand how hierarchies of permission function in the real world. If there is a number of tiers of operation, right? If you have certain keys that can go higher and higher up the chart, would it make sense for there to be a super top level key? Yes, that exists in most multi-section keying strata. Most systems, Schlage is not unique in this regard, have a super top level blank, an all section key. It's used for things like top master keying, grand master keying, sometimes control keys. In Schlage, in the classic series of keys, that is the L blank. It is very thin. Usually it's manufactured out of steel, it's so thin. But the L blank will operate every single lock in the Schlage classic family. It will insert across the whole line. I'm not gonna keep sticking it in and out of every one of it. 
right? It will insert in all of them. And if it is pinned the same, obviously, you can turn it in all of them. So here's our F key, here's our FG. And again, I just, I really think the visual of having this block just sells it, right? It is, it is just way more understandable why people are so gaga over this. Now you're hearing me call it the L blank. In Schlage land, the L blank, which again, they call the 35101 L, uh, it's the 1145 series of keys. There's a whole bunch of internal documentation, right? In broadly like lock supply land, Kaba Ilko catalog and such, you're gonna hear this called the SC20 in six pin. In five pin, it's SC19, if you're curious. That is why this pick is named the SC20 pick. It is a six pin depth and it has the L profile. So whereas the first picks that you've ever seen, the Lishi picks that were SC1 and SC4, they will only fit in the C profile and that's it. They will not fit in any other Schlaglock. The SC20 will fit in absolutely every one of them. So this coming week, we're going to go through a lot of information about the Schlage company, their locks, and this new pick, and where it works in some situations, but maybe not as well as the classic pick in other situations. There's a lot to untangle here, and I really am happy to share with you a whole bunch of other obscure Schlage knowledge in the coming days and my time I've learned working with the company and making the associates and friends that I have there. So stay tuned. We're going to cover a lot of fun stuff, and yes, at the end of this week, uh, I promise I'm actually going to do just one long ASMR style of picking of every single one of the locks in this block uh, with the SC20 pick. And we're going to do giveaways every single day. I've been thrilled with everyone reaching out and getting giveaway stuff from me. Uh, so what is our giveaway this week? Pick cases. Small flap style, either with the Velcro here or a leather one that's a snap here. Some of these were even prototypes we were working on with people. If you've got a lot of picks at this point, we have a huge pick roll style case. But yeah, uh, if you're not familiar with this by now, right? Mailing list is not really a mailing list. This is, you know, just so I can ever make an announcement if something goes horribly wrong with this channel or I get kidnapped by Martian terrorists or something. But if you're on the mailing list, I choose one of those names at random or in weeks like this, I choose three of those names at random and I will reach out to you and you will be the owner of fun things. And it's not all pick cases and little things at the end of the week, you know, I'm gonna give away, gonna give away something pretty sweet, all right? Stay tuned. Stay safe out there.